Hi, my name is India and I am a winger for the Prague Raptors women's football team. Uh, I am here to answer some questions about myself and about the team in general. So, okay. How long have you lived in Prague and what brought you here? Um, I have lived in Prague for coming up to eight and a half years now, I think. Um, we originally came for my dad's job. But we, my family loved it so much that we've stayed since. Um, I've been at Raptors for almost eight months, I think. Um, just before the start of the season. I, I love it. <laughs> it's an amazing team. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I'm doing an interview for them right now. But I, I really do love the team. Um, how do you think the season is going for the Raptors so far? I, I, th I mean, I would say we're doing pretty well. Uh, I mean, to beat the Bohemians 4-1 was quite an achievement for us, which I think we deserved with the amount of effort and the skill the team have. I think like we, we definitely have a chance of being promoted at the end of the season, being champions. Um, yeah, I, I think, and even if the season gets canceled because of this whole quarantine situation, I think the amount of preparation we've done this year will lead on into next year. And I think the next year's season, we will definitely be promoted, I think. I mean, the coaches deserve it. My teammates deserve it. It's going to happen. Um, what do you love about the Raptors? Uh, first thing that comes to mind is the diversity of Raptors. Um, everyone is from different parts of the world. Everyone has different backgrounds, different culture, and that really shows at Raptors in a way that everyone has their part in the community. Um, and that's another thing, the community, the, uh, even on the, on the WhatsApp group chats, everyone is helping each other, everyone is supporting each other, uh, and that's a really big part of being a, a part of any club, that, every, that everyone is there for each other, that is so important, both on and off the pitch. Um, so yeah, are there people in the club you really admire, such as best player or hardest trainers. Um, for sure, my captain, Anna, she is the most dedicated, organized, hardworking, and the best leader you could possibly ask for. I mean, she's a captain for, for a reason. Um, yeah, no, she on and off the pitch, she will she'll be there for each and every player and she will she'll motivate the whole team and she'll keep the whole team going. And especially off the pitch, she's great at organizing social events and keeping the team talking to each other, like now in the quarantine situation, organizing calls between everyone. Uh she's great. She she's she's amazing. I really respect her and admire her. Um uh, my coaches as well, I, they're so dedicated, so hardworking, and that's evident around the whole club. I, the Daz and Petra and, I mean, all the coaches, all the staff, everyone, amazing. And they work so hard at what they do. Um, and, okay, individual players. Alice uh, has unbelievable skill she's so talented it's amazing and she's dependable too and I love that um, I really admire her and Gabby my goalie so she's so talented so amazing I mean it, it it changes the whole atmosphere when you have a goalie that you can depend on and you can just make you I mean, you can know that if you do make a mistake it's okay Gabby's there um she she's amazing what she do and she does and she's she's worked so hard and definitely respect her so much
Who is the funniest person in the dressing room? Oh, gosh. Uh, that's got to be a tight one between... Um, tight competition between Jess and Tala. I don't... I haven't seen Tala much because since I'm relatively new and she's been injured, she hasn't been in the dressing room as much for me as she has been in for other players. Um, but I know for the time she has been, I know that she... She's the funny one. She's always got the music. She's always got the jokes. Um, and then Jess, it's just, she's always smiling, always, always cracking a joke. Um, yeah, definitely those two. Um, um, do you have another favorite team? Who and why? Um, Tottenham Hotspurs in England is my favorite team and has been for a while now i love their style of playing i love the youth in the team um and i i like ha i like liking a team that's not <laughs> liverpool or man united that everyone likes i mean tottenham is it feels individual which i really like um and I mean, my favorite player there is Son. I, I, I'm fast, so I like, I like look, I like players who have speed, and he definitely a player I would aspire to be like, um, in that way. Um, what do you do away from football? Uh, for, a lot. I have. I, I'm still in school, so I have school every day. Um, I, for, well, I mean, when I go to university, I'd like to study economics. Um, that's a passion of mine. Is economics. Um, hobbies. Uh, well, actually, in my free time, I generally just play football. But I like to walk my dog every day in the forest. That's something that keeps me sane. Um, uh, hobby, so oh gosh, I play basketball as well, so I try to balance out the football and the basketball. I do like seventy five percent football and then a little bit of basketball. Um, yeah, I spend time with my family and my friends, and that that just really fills up my time. Who is your sporting idol? Um. I don't think I don't have a specific person that I admire the most. I think all athletes, well, especially footballers, but all athletes, I really admire um, because they're like they're all talented. They're all hardworking. Um, they've all put so much effort and dedication into their chosen sport for. Uh, to get where they are today and I think that is like really ad admirable the dedication um oh wait one person not not a famous athlete but someone I know he um he's my age so 16 but he he plays football every day and he he loves it he loves it so much and he's every free minute he gets he's out there playing football um, and working on specific skills all the time and he strives to be the best that he can be at football and I think that like his drive and determination are, are qualities that I really admire and I respect um, and I don't have that kind of time uh, with all the stuff I do and balancing uh, school but he just like unbelievable amount of football and dedication so um that's one person that i do admire in like specific um how is the current lockdown situation affecting you and your loved ones uh i can't say i'm doing great but then again i have it better than others my family are healthy um I've been sick, but I don't think that it's anything bad. Um, I I mean, I walk my dog every day, so getting out and into the woods is really helpful for just 
getting some fresh air and doing some exercise. Um, but school, every day having school, online school, that's, it's not easy. It's definitely an adjustment, um, but I am happy to have something to do. Uh, I'm going to take up some little things like maybe learn a new instrument, um, do some gardening. <laughs> Simple stuff, but that will make me happy and I think will keep me happy and that will that will be beneficial for me to um, do something while I have the free time for it. So thank you for listening. Um, you might have learned a little bit more about myself. I'm not the most talkative person. So, uh, but yeah, thank you.